Here's the next project I'm going to be tackling. It's the power supply reliability upgrade. And probably everybody that's got one of these clocks has seen this website. It's pretty old now. So thanks to Jeff Thomas for this information. I've got the GC1000 Heath Kit clock on the bench tonight. I'll be doing the power supply upgrade on it. Putting that in there in place of that. Now I have the capacitors and regulator replaced. Place the original regulator with the PT5101N regulator. So now I will perform the recalibration procedure. To do all this it has me to put a 33K resistor on test point one and test point two which is here and here speakers unhooked antennas unhooked all those switches are set to off This in test mode should read eight 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 point one and it does. Data LED should be off and it is. Remaining LED should be on and they are. So go on to mode two. Set the 1000 Hz tone decoder adjustment. Should read 1000.2 and it does. Turn R444 on the tone decoder circuit fully clockwise. Right there. Okay. Turn counterclockwise until the PM LED comes on. Okay, I'm not going to worry about 1200. Let's go on to function 4, mode 4. 100 hertz tone detector adjustments. Slide normal. test to normal. I'm observing a random time on the display as the book says I should. Turn the 100 hertz control fully clockwise. Okay. Slowly counterclockwise till data LED begins to glow. Okay, there it's glowing. Mark position with the pencil. Turn the same control fully counterclockwise that's staying glowing the whole time I had it counterclockwise so just put it back where it was okay remove the 33k resistor day of the light may or may not go out it went out the clock is presently wired for normal operation
seems to be picking up some data so hopefully it'll get to the right time of day pretty soon go ahead and do a little uh, cabinet clean up that's how dirty it is I've cleaned that one little spot I have one capacitor down here I need to replace that one right there I didn't have that value in stock and also I need to get a standoff for this test switch but I've got it tied up right now where it's not going to fall down and cause a problem in the meantime but it, it seems to be working still doesn't have the right time yet but it's at least doing something now I'll check some ESRs on these capacitors I pulled out that's a thousand microfarad right there 35 volts it should be 0 0.04 that one's 2 2.1 okay this one here is another 1000 microfarad 35 volts and that one has an ESR of 67, 68. And this little 22 microfarad at 16 volts, it doesn't even register. So those definitely need to be replaced. Here's a known good one. 1000 microfarads and it's at 0.14 and that's in the good range and here's a 22 microfarad 25 volt it's reading 1.6 on the ESR meter and it should be around 2 so it's it's well within range It's the next day and the clock is set and working well. And it's running cool. So I would say this upgrade was quite a success. Case is all cleaned up and shined up. It's looking pretty good. Even later in the day, we're now running in high spec, so I believe this thing's going to work alright with the power supply upgrade.